Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to the final part of my full platinum walkthrough of God of War 3. So at this point the story is done and you should have all but one of the trophies, not including the platinum. The trophy in question is up to the challenge for completing the challenge of Olympus. Now that's challenge of Olympus only, there's no need to do the challenge of exile, unless you want to of course. Now I remember these challenges being more difficult originally, but that really isn't the case. They must have been from one of the other God of War games, maybe the first one. That's not to say they're easy, a couple of them may cause you problems, but they're all more than manageable. There are seven to get through and I'll talk you through each one individually as we go. So we'll start at the top with population control. This took me one attempt and that's the one you're seeing in this video. You need to make sure the enemy count doesn't reach 50 and you need to last 90 seconds. I use a combination of smashy smashy lion fists and ploughing through the enemies while using a different enemy as a shield. Basically anything that hits hard and makes enemies fall off the edge. When things get a bit hectic, start using the L1 square move to hit multiple enemies at once. This move still knocks them back so they'll still fall off the edge. And that's all there is to this one. Next up is bare hands, this is probably the most difficult, not because it is particularly difficult, it's just because you have to have luck on your side. You have 75 seconds to kill all the enemies and you have no weapons. There is literally only one thing you can do, grab a sentinel and charge around hitting other enemies with him. Start off by grabbing a sentinel and charge towards the two stone guys. The best way to cause damage to them is to run around them in a little circle. If your controller is vibrating, you're hurting them, so this one might take you a few attempts, but you literally get a feel for it. Priority number one is the two stone guys, even when the cyclops turns up. If you get lucky, you might push them off the edge. One major tip is don't use finishing moves. The animation eats into your time and it's just not worth it. Just keep charging at them with sentinels. I do a bit of a sneaky trick to take the cyclops down. I press circle to initiate a finishing move, knowing it's going to push him back over the edge. Then I fail the quick time event and he drops to his death. Like I said, this one is highly luck based. Now the sentinels won't stop spawning until the other three enemies are dead, so if there are any left you'll have to kill those too. On to get stone now, for this one you need to allow a gorgon to turn you to stone 10 times without dying. So while you've been turned to stone, don't get hit by enemies, and don't get turned to stone while in midair you'll drop to the ground and smash. As you can imagine, this is another pain in the arse look based one. It starts off fairly light, just you and a gorgon really, by the end the whole area will be full of enemies, including two cyclops. What you'll see me doing is actually trying to grab the gorgons, this causes them to instantly shoot a green gaze at you. So if the coast is clear you can get turned to stone on demand pretty much. Killing enemies doesn't really get rid of them, they'll just respawn. It may give you a few seconds of respite but it's really not worth trying to kill them. There are some lost souls wandering around, these are key to victory as well. You'll notice yourself taking a lot of damage, if your health gets low you can grab these guys and they'll give you health orbs. Again like I said this one is luck dependent so good luck.
The next one is El Matador Ole. For this one you need to fight waves of sentinels and minotaurs. You'll have to kill them all while watching the minotaurs don't gore you and the sentinels don't grab you. The enemies are separated until the last wave so killing them shouldn't be a problem. This one may take a few tries but it's not luck based so it's fair. For the minotaurs I use square square triangle for a quick knockback combo. This also gives you enough time to move out the way when they charge at you. For the sentinels I use the L1 square spinning move. It makes short work of them and it also makes sure that they can't get close to you. For the last wave when they're all together use the strategy from the first two. Grab the weaker enemies and charge at the others. This causes a knockback and you should be able to get the minotaurs to fall off the edge. Next up is Knockout, this is another fun one that took me only one attempt. You'll be riding a Cyclops and you'll have to knock as many enemies off the edge as you can. Knocking larger enemies off gives you more points and you need to get to 1000 points. There's not much point targeting specific enemies, just move round in a circle around the edge hitting every enemy you see. You do only have 60 seconds but that's more than enough time, especially if you don't mess the beginning bit up where you're actually trying to commandeer the Cyclops. He manages to hit me four times, which I could have easily avoided. Up next is Hades Kids. This is another fun one. You have to get 5 Cyclops to spawn. In other words, kill 4 Cyclops in 90 seconds. This is really easy. Just go full offensive using the triangle combo. It kills them really quickly. Again, light bare hands don't bother with finishing moves. Just keep hitting them until they die. It saves so much time. For the final part, where there are 4 of them, pick one out and kill it. Don't spread the damage around. Just divide and conquer. Now onto the seventh and final one, simply smashing. Man, this is a hard one. No, not really, you just have to smash 30 urns in 20 seconds. The clue to finishing this one is in the title. Simply, don't go for fancy combos, just press square once. Combos don't seem to smash the urns as well anyway. From the start, smash the ones in the middle, then go to six o'clock and work your way around it in a clockwise movement. It may take you a couple of attempts, but that's it really. This is a really simple one. And once this one's done, we are done. You should see the Up to the Challenge trophy and the Platinum trophy pop on the next screen. I hope these videos have been helpful. This is a new series I'm trying, so I'm still trying to find the best way to present it. 
Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. All feedback is welcome. Also, got a game you want me to make a guide like this for? Let me know that too. Right, I'm going to get out of here. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. You know the drill. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.